Hello, I am Luis Gabriel Cuervo, Principal Investigator for the Amore Project. I'm going to show you how to access and use the Amore platform. You are now at the webpage hosting the Amore platform, and the link is at the bottom of the screen. Scrolling down, you can access the interfaces of the platform linked to the published results. For this demonstration, I will open the interface with accessibility measurements of tertiary care emergency services from July 2020. The screen will default to the entire urban area of Cali. I will now illustrate how we obtain data for the reports. At the top of the screen, you can see the traffic levels. Traffic level one is free flow traffic, and it shows on the box the matching times and days of the week when it was measured. Traffic eight is the most common traffic at daytime in Cali, which is a very congested city. And traffic nine is peak traffic. Notice how the map changed. There are three maps that you can see here in the platform. The map to the left is place where the services that are, we are studying are located. The map to the right is a corporate map with a population density. And the map at the center show the travel times, but also uh, the population density in the height of each of the columns, which can be displayed if you use the focus mode that gives you the full screen. To the top left-hand side, you can see the travel times. For example, in the article for emergency services, the threshold was 15 minutes. So you can see here the population, the entire population of the urban city, uh, of the urban area of Cali and the households. And when we change this to 15 minutes, it's going to show us the population covered or able to reach a service within 15 minutes of travel time by car and the dates that this was measured. So you can see how the maps changed. Here you have the, the population that's covered, and it can tell you for each independent traffic analysis zones, the travel times. And here it's going to provide you also with the population information and population density. So you have to the left, the population tree of Cali, and to the right, the sociodemographic characteristics of the population. And you can select or toggle this button to choose whether you go with the um, relative or absolute figures. In this case, with 15 minutes, you have that the population is 131,982 people, and that represents 36.8% of the entire population of Cali but the, the distribution is very different between socioeconomic groups. The low socioeconomic group, which is housing stratum one and two, have different access, uh, very, uh, lower accessibility levels compared to the other groups. So this is how you can get the information and you can um, uh, put a pointer on each individual group to, to get specific data, or you can select uh, one or more groups by clicking on them and using the command or the control key, depending on the operation uh, system that you're using, whether it's an Apple or a Windows, uh, you will be able to select uh, multiple groups. So you can have a uh, filtering of, of the data. You can also remove all the filters by clicking on the top right corner. Uh, finally, I'll show you that you can use the focus mode and get the displays, uh, for example, in 3D of the city here with all the travel times. Uh, in this case, I'm showing the north of the city to the right and the east of the city uh, uh, closer to, to you. And what you can see, uh, the map reveals, is that the services are in, lowly, uh, in low density population areas and far away from where most of the population is, that that's towards the east of the city the north and the far west side of the city. And also that there's an area that's still far from the services but has low density of population at the south end of the city. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate. Thank you.